Style recording videos. Hello YouTubers, today today's video is going to be about two screen readers, voiceover and talkback. So I'm going to talk about which one is better. So let's start off with voiceover because that was the first screen reader I ever used on the smartphone. So voiceover is built into the iOS device which is iPhone, iPad, iPod, iPad mini, iPod touch and Mac, all Apple devices basically. So um, I never used, I never tried to use voiceover in the Mac, but I did try to use on iPad and iPhone. So um, what you can do is you can access voice if you if you're starting to learn how to use voiceover, you can access voiceover help. But this is doesn't explain to you what voiceover does. You can just perform any gesture that you want on the screen with your finger like we can swipe left swipe right double tap on the screen and it, it just it just tells you what it does basically but it doesn't guide you through the tutorial like talkback does so um yeah so it doesn't guide you through so this is i gave i gave more po more points to talkback rather than voiceover because um Talkback is better uh, for the tutorial. Like it's, it gives, it explains to you more how to use a screen reader. So um, the next thing is the rotor. You can uh, read, change text navigation on the voiceover. Um, you can do that with Talkback as well. So um, there's no weird difference. There's not really a different difference in that. Like you can read text word by word, letter by letter, paragraph by paragraph, and so on. There's not really different, there's not different, there's no difference in, in those two screen, screen readers. Um, um, speed of the voice, mm, no difference as well. But, um, well, there's a little difference in talkback because when you get to speech rate in, uh, in talkback, you, yeah, there's few options few options comes up which is slow fast slightly faster much faster um extremely fast fastest and normal now in voiceover it's a little bit different you go to accessibility voiceover and then you go to speech speech rate and you swipe up to make it faster and you swipe down to make it slower so that's and it tells you like when you swipe down it will tell you like 45%, 43%, 40%, whatever. And it will tell you the percentage of the speed or the speed. So that's the little difference. But generally about the voice speed, voice speed there's not really a difference. You can, put, you can do it on, on the both screen readers. Um, let me see what else. Tutorials, I went through that. Uh, Talkback is definitely better because it explains to you clear how to use it. Um, and I think, oh yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a clear last, little, uh, last but not least, um, speech, yeah, speech. Um, in voiceover, you can actually double tap with three fingers, uh, which, uh, with, with three fingers anywhere on the screen, which will actually turn the speech on and off, but it, it doesn't turn on, turn off the the actual screen reader the voiceover stays on but when you touch the screen and you swipe the finger you could just hear the clicks but voiceover wouldn't wouldn't talk because like you have the speech turned off that's actually i would like something something to have in talkback but unfortunately it's not available in talkback because uh, all the time during the night i have to turn talkback all the way down unless and that's the reason why I would actually love if I would actually have had an option just to turn off the speech, not to turn off, turn down the complete volume. So yeah, that's the that's the difference. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video. Give it a like and yeah, subscribe for more. Um, I'll be uploading um a video. I think next Wednesday or next Thursday, uh, or or even on Saturday about the game that I got today, which is called um, Audio, 
um it's a game for blind people anyway i'll be doing the review of that so yeah stay in tune for that and yeah hopefully enjoy this video bye stop stop